Hi everyone, Rhett Wilsmore here with around 14 match report uh, for the reserves against Old Brighton. Uh, this week we had six force changes. Um, a big thank you to Freddie Leighton who came up from the 19s and uh, Charlie Loveridge um, who also uh, came up at last minute from the threes. So um, thanks to those boys. It was a big day at the club. We had the breast cancer awareness lunch on and it was also Mitch Bradley's 200th game. Uh, so we... Uh, we had a few guest speakers before the game, and yeah, it was a really good feel uh, to go out there and, and you know thank Mitch for his efforts um, over the, the club over the last, I think it's something like uh, 13, 14 years. So um, a big well done to him. Um, going into the game, we were third and they were fourth. Um, so we, you know, and we had a really good win against them earlier in the year. So we gave ourselves every opportunity. Um, they did jump us early. They, they had a number of uh, players that had been exposed to, to senior level that were, were back in their side, and uh, from, whether it be from injury or I think a few of the boys had been away. So they were very, very well structured. They, had a, they were a lot bigger than us. Uh, and from the outset, they, they did control uh, proceedings. They, they went ahead uh, three goals. Um, we, I think over the, the first quarter, had four entries and were lucky enough to, to, to get two goals. So really efficient with our, our ball movement uh, going forward. But as it was, we went in at quarter time, uh, two goals one, two, three goals two uh, behind. Uh, second quarter, unfortunately, again, they just started to stretch away a little bit. Um, uh, that, again, they, they are a very well-programmed, um, heavy midfield division that, that uh, just won the ascendancy and, and got it going their way. They went in at their halftime break, 27 points, um, and in full control of things. We had a really good, uh, simplified, uh, had a chat at halftime, uh, had a very simplified approach that we'd uh, adopt in the second half, and the, the boys followed it out, and it actually was really, um, really impressive. We, we were able to string some really great uh, passages of play together uh, and uh, narrow the, the margin down to 22 points at uh, three-quarter time, uh, and in the, the last quarter, we continued to storm home. Uh, we got within 10 points of them about halfway through the last quarter, but they did kick a few goals late, and uh, unfortunately, they did uh, go out a 17-point winners. So um, better team on the day. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we'll just have to, to live and learn uh, that uh, slow starts do, do cost you in the end. Um, so our best players, I thought uh, McCorkle was fantastic for us over all four quarters. He was probably our best player. Matty Bennett was great, uh, particularly in the second half and, and got us going. I thought uh, Shiloh on the ball um, set up some really good passages of play for us. He's had his third game now uh, where he's performed probably in our top three. So he's really hitting his form at the right end of the year. Uh, Ryan Walsh was fantastic down back. Uh, I thought our, our captain was really good as well. Just demonstrated some real leadership out there and some really smart footy um, to the, the younger guys around him. Uh, and I thought Holsey um, had had a solid game for us in the back line as well. Uh, so uh, now uh, we'll go to uh, fourth, unfortunately. So we've, we've dropped a, a position there. Um, we're still two games clear. However, we, we do play uh, second this week with St. Kevin's, and then obviously we play top of the ladder in the last game of the year. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're going to need to win uh, two of the expected games and then hopefully pinch one of the, those two others against teams that are ahead of us. Um, but we'll give ourselves every opportunity to do that. And uh, I'll be back next week with a, uh, another match report following the game against St. Kevin's. Thank you.